Hello everyone, how are you doing? Yes, it's vlog time! Wow! Amazing, I know. We haven't had any of these recently, I can't even... I still can't speak though, no matter how many vlogs I do. Um, I make a plan, think about it, then when I need to speak, it's just... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Anyway, that's why you follow me. Hmm. This vlog is a little bit serious, but not really serious. I mean, it is, but it isn't like I'm going to depress you. It's just kind of to inform you about what I'm planning to do. And it's all to do with my health. So, as you all know, I am chronically ill and I have a lot of issues um, regarding pain management, um, energy, because I have chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, um, and other things that kind of come along with that kind of condition. There's a lot of stuff going on. If you want to read up on it, I will leave links below and then you can just read up on it. I won't bore you with all the details right now. I've, I've said it in a recent video, so I don't really want to go back into it. But it has been getting worse, gradually getting worse. Um, it's ever since I burned out again on my previous job because I was overworking, doing too much. And that kind of burned me out physically and mentally. And I'm still recovering from that. And I was hoping that by this time, because I lost my job in February, March this year. So I was hoping by now I would have recovered enough to feel better or see improvement. And I'm not, which is not a good sign. And my pain management especially is not great. I mean, I am in constant pain every day. Almost my entire lower body is in pain and then my shoulders and my, my hands are really sore and um, sometimes it's my entire body including my face. It's, it's weird. It's weird how it all happens. Uh, fibromyalgia I, I wouldn't wish on anybody because there's no real there's no real treatment and they don't really know what causes it. It's just an autoimmune thing which I have a lot of things. Um, similar to that, I have a lot of autoimmune things um, anyway, like irritable irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> I can't even say it. IBS. <laughs> Just say IBS. <laughs> but then nobody knows what I mean. So yeah, irritable bowel syndrome. So to combat that, I am going to be doing an exclusion diet. Now, what is an exclusion diet and why an exclusion diet per se? Well, on top of all the other wonders that I have, I also have a lot of food intolerances. And these food intolerances make me feel worse. I used to be very good with watching what I ate. Unfortunately, due to mental health, uh, especially depression getting really bad, last year I started eating everything all the time, including dairy, which I know I can't have. And a lot of other things that I know I can't have. I just kept eating them and eating them because they're all comfort foods. And I think that is contributing to a lot of things. I mean, there's an underlying factor. There's an underlying cause why I am the way I am. Um, why I'm feeling so bad. And I think it is just... It needs time and I need to find a way to manage it. But I don't think that eating everything that I want to is helping me because I know, for example, I've mentioned brain fog before where you just, I liken it to having the flu or when you have a fever, you know, you can't think clearly, you can't speak clearly, you're, you sound delirious. That's what I sound like when I have bad brain fog. I just, I either sound like I'm drunk or I am half asleep or, you know, it just, your brain is not functioning properly. And I know that, for example, if I eat cheese or if I eat wheat, um, that gets much worse the next day. And sometimes I have it instantly. Sometimes I can eat something and 10 minutes later I'll be so tired and so brain foggy and in pain. And so, you know, one, one and one is two. You have to kind of make the link and realize that, oh yes, my food is probably not helping whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is an exclusion diet, which is really, really tough. It is tough because it will be a terrible, terrible detox. So the first week will be not fun. Um, and an exclusion diet is basically you eat, well, the version that I'm using is very extreme because I want to know 
what I can and cannot have into the detail. So I'm going to be very thorough with this and I'll be documenting it for you so you can see what I'm doing and what the results are. And hopefully we'll see a very positive result because I've done it before and the last time I did it I felt amazing once I was on a very strict diet. And I also know that I don't have to be on this diet forever as long as it's a year or a year and a bit so my body can recover my gut can reco recover and then hopefully I can introduce more stuff as time goes on it's just that initial recovering um, that I need to be doing and not fall off the wagon and just eat whatever I want because you know that's a first world problem I should just <laughs> buckle down and do it but it's psychologically it's really hard you know if you think about normal diets um, to lose weight or just a few food intolerances um, people find that hard enough so imagine this I get to eat rice drink water eat pears and that's basically it <laughs> that's gonna be it because everything else will be a an allergen could be a potential allergen and that is like the safest group of food that I can eat so I'll be eating that for two weeks don't worry I will be taking supplements on top of that I will not be mal malnourished um, and I'll be eating as much rice and as much pear as I want um, and of course if there's any issues any like major issues I will stop or eat something else on top of that but I should be fine it's just two weeks so it's not too bad and it should give me everything I have and with the supplements I'm taking um, I should get all the vitamins and minerals and iron and stuff like that so that's all good um, oh I am using salt on my rice because I cannot eat bland rice I will have to have some salt so I do eat salt yeah so I'm basically eating that for two weeks the first week will be major detox then after that I should see a positive change in sleeping in energy hopefully in pain levels and then after that you get to introduce one food or ingredient because there's so many different ingredients especially processed foods and I don't eat that many processed foods anyway because they're not great for you uh, to put it mildly I do I do usually eat fresh and cook fresh um, but you know snacks and stuff like that if I buy snacks then there's a lot of processed shit in that and uh, I just need to figure out which ones on top of the ones I already know which was a list of 20 things so there was a lot of stuff and I think I just got fed up with you know always having to watch what I buy and what I eat because if I'd go into a supermarket it was just rows of no you can't have this and it was I, I know it's such a spoiled thing but it made me so depressed like I didn't want to go food shopping because I was just reminded of all the things that I wasn't allowed to eat and really wanted um, so you know anybody going on a diet I, I hear you on that you know it's tough especially if people do not um, help you with it or like I last time I fell off the wagon was during the holidays because people were being difficult about me not eating everything and then I was like okay fine I'll eat everything for the holidays and then I was like oh my god I've missed this food and I never looked back which was a problem so I need to not do that but you know I'm not seeing anyone for the holidays today because of the backstreet boys so <laughs> that's kind of good it's a good time to do it and hopefully by the summer I'll be much better anyway I've already been talking quite a long time I am very sorry for some reason I've suddenly woken up and become very hyper so well, you have to bear with me um, also um, yeah that, that kind of reminds me of uh, what you'll be looking forward to is that if I do feel better and I do improve then I'll be rambling like an idiot like this much more because I'll have more energy to put towards my ADHD madness inside <laughs> oh goodness but at least I will have energy to do stuff I can you know do stuff properly for y'all on this channel streaming for myself for people in real life I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired and I just need to change I need to change something something's got to give and because of the whole Backstreet Boys reunion tour my ADHD 
uh, assessment and treatment has stopped as well of course it never came to fruition because that was going to be in march and march was when all shit broke loose so i need to restart that too i've been on a waiting list for three years so <laughs> i need to go private and yeah make a fuss so that's not going to be fun either um there's more expenses that i don't have but it's all in the plan of trying to get myself out of this slump because the worst thing you can do even with chronic stuff is just to keep doing things the way you've all like not changing anything and if you're not happy with something in your life to a degree of course because you know i know there are plenty of conditions out there you can't do anything about but you can make them better with maintenance and improving on certain things and i was like it's about time that I do that again, because I am very good at self-care when I remember. <laughs> That's the thing, I don't always remember because of ADHD, but... Um, you know, I do try to be as healthy as possible. And I was like, yeah, let's do the exclusion diet again. So what you do is that uh, you uh, introduce, after the two weeks of detox, you then introduce one food or one ingredient every two to three days and see what your reaction is so for example after two weeks of rice and pear and water i will have probably tofu because i want a protein on top of that so then i have some tofu i see what my reaction is to it. it's like half an hour after i've had it then the next day and write it all down in a journal and if there's no negative effects like uh, it doesn't upset my stomach, my bowels, um, my energy, my head, uh, no itchiness, no rashes. You know, if, if it's all good, then I can put that on the safe list. And that's how you do it for every ingredient and every food out there. It's a very long process, but if you do it properly, it can make the world of difference. Like I said last time, um, although I was... I had different issues last time than now. I didn't have the fibro. But hopefully y'all will see a big change in me. I'll still be chronically ill, but at least it will be more manageable. And it will be less debilitating. And that's what I want. And for anybody who wants to do this kind of thing, I also want to show you how I do it and what the results are and I do hope there are some positive results because I'm going to lose my shit if this is not going to help <laughs> but I am 80% sure that it's going to make a difference uh, maybe not a huge difference but some difference better than nothing yeah and then after that I will get assessed again or push through my assessment and um, hopefully get treated for ADHD and then that should also help with mental fog with um, energy problems, um, not being able to coordinate. Uh, the thing with ADHD is that you can't set deadlines because you have no concept of time. You know, I could say this will take five minutes and then three hours later I'm still doing it. Um, it's, it's out of my control. I really can't help that. And you've probably seen that a lot on the channel. And when I say, oh yeah, we'll, we'll stream in an hour and then five hours later I still haven't streamed. And it's like, it's I don't do it on purpose <laughs> it's just frustrating anyway I just want to let you know that that's my plan I want to um yeah do the exclusion diet and take you all with me on this journey so that's it really bye